So we're given some information about r, r prime, s, and s prime at particular values, and asked to see if we can compute derivatives of the following functions if they're defined a certain way. For instance, in number one, we want to find h prime of two if h of x equals r of x times s of x. Notice what we have is a product. Then h prime of x would come from our product rule, so we hold one constant, so r of x times the derivative of the other, which is s prime of x, plus, now we hold the s of x constant times the derivative of r prime of x. So then h prime of 2 would be r of 2 times s prime of 2 plus s of 2 times r prime of 2. So now we need to see if we have those values. r of 2 is 4, s prime of 2 is 3, s of 2 is 1, and r prime of 2 is negative 1. So we have 12 minus 1, or 11. Same thing here. h prime of 2 if h of x equals square root of r of x. And we may, before we start this one, want to rewrite it as r of x to the 1 half power. Then h prime of x is, via chain rule, the 1 half is going to come out front, leave the inside alone, r of x, to the negative 1 half, times the derivative of the inside, which is r prime of x. Then h prime of 2 is 1 half times r of 2 to the negative 1 half times r prime of 2. So we have values for those. So we have 1 half. r of 2 is given right here. It's 4. So we have 1 half. 4 to the negative 1 half times r prime of 2, which we used before. It's negative 1. 4 to the negative 1 half. That's 1 over the square root of 4, which is 1 over 2. So we end up with 1 half times 1 half times negative 1 or negative one-fourth. We're going to do a couple more of these. So first off, what about h prime of 2 if h of x is given by r of s of x? Well, then h prime of x requires chain rule, which is derivative of the outside, r prime, leave the inside alone, times the derivative of the inside. Therefore, h prime of 2 is r prime of s of 2 times s prime of 2. Now let's see what we have values for. r prime, s of 2, according to our table up here, s of 2 is equal to 1. And s prime of 2 is equal to 3. Now, we're not given a value for r prime of 1, so we can't quite solve this one. In fact, r prime of 1 is what we would need to know to be able to finish that one off. Let's do one more. It's going to be a composition the other way. So now it's s of r of x. So h prime of x equals s prime leave the inside alone, derivative outside, leave inside alone, times the derivative of the inside, which is r prime of x. So then h prime of 2 equals s prime of r of 2 times r prime of 2. So again, let's see if we have enough values this time. So s prime, r of 2 is 4, r prime of 2 is negative 1. This time we're okay because we do know s prime of 4 right here. It's 3 times negative 1. So our result is negative 3.